All right, let's take a look at it. We get the motion. Really good job. Let's see here. All right, let's get up on the line of scrimmage and see what we got. Okay. The other slight coaching point, when we run counter, we will slightly, and it's hard, the defense doesn't really pick, pick this up. We do it on a couple of plays. You'll watch our swing man won't take quite as wide of a split. You'll see our swing man will take a little tighter of a split, so it's a little easy for him to come down because he's not going to have the, the tailback there, okay, because the tailback's leaving to go in motion. So because of the fact that the tailback's leaving to go in motion, we don't want to really create that wide, wide gap where we could get some – some tight penetration. Now we have blocked this different ways where we end up kicking that guy. If they do put a guy in that gap, we have a way that we'll arc the swing man. Okay. To the linebacker and we'll end up kicking that, um, you know, we'll kick the guy that's in that gap. If he just poses to be too difficult to block. So we want to try to make it easy on our kids, you know, put them in a, put them in a good position to, you know, be able to block there. Our tackle didn't move quite as well. You know, that's one another reason we didn't we didn't run a lot of tackle trap. You know, tackle trap's a good play in this offense, but again, our tackle his feet weren't the best. You know, tough kid though, one of the best linemen, you know, in the conference. Get after you, road grader, you know, drive block the drive block the heck out of you. But um, you know, maybe not the best puller, you know, is the strong, strong tackle there. So, you know, for us. You know, for this play it required him to pull, you know, sometimes was a was a challenge just from his athleticism, but he'd get over there and block you. I'll tell you that right now. But here again, a good job. You know, we're getting the flow. You can watch the linebacker flow. I mean, watch the linebacker, watch the middle linebacker, you know, diving at the fullback here. You know, he sees the fullback dive, he's coming, you know, he's attacking, and we end up hitting, hitting it back away from him. So Again, it's a great way to it's a great way to attack, you know, away from, you know, where they want to trigger the linebackers. You know, if they're they're triggering hard, particularly short yardage. And again, you can see those guys get caught up in there. All right, those linebackers are so aggressive there, they're just getting caught up. Again, you can see the, the effect of the motion how the motion and, and the action of the lead play, again, which is a, obviously a base concept that they've seen, you know, time and time again, it's something that is creating an issue for their eyes. So they're, they're kind of seeing the candy, you know, they're, they're seeing something that they think they're seeing and we're obviously giving them, uh, you know, something else off of it, which again is, is critical. And again, you notice there's no jab step by our halfback either. I mean, he's coming again. We want it downhill. You know, he's he's the only the only little coaching point. He does get a little bit wider. You know, he'll line up just just slightly wider. You can see it there, and maybe a little bit deeper. All right, you can really only see it from like a side angle shot. But again, that's not anything that the defense is picking up on, or you know anything like that because we're snapping the ball so quick once we get up there. Again, you can see how those linebackers just take a slight step, you know, away from the, you know, to the, to the side the action's going to, and that just, that's all we need to really get them to get leverage and get them pinned.
a good job. That was blocked really well there. <laughs> Again, you can see there the tackle doesn't really get deep enough on his pull. He gets kind of caught up. And that's the other reason that we want, you know, it has to be so violent with the train on the front side, the double teams. Like we need to move that line of scrimmage, you know, because those linemen we have pulling, you know, we got to make sure they have space to be able to get out. Because if they don't get out, I mean, this plays, this play is pretty much dead in the water. Um, you know, you have no chance at that point. Um, you know, anytime you have a penetration kills pullers. I mean, that's the easiest way to. There's no other way to really describe it. Um, you know, penetration kills pullers. You get penetration at any point in time when you're trying to pull people, you know, whether it's a trap, a sweep, a counter, reverse, any gap scheme where you're pulling, you're going to get killed with penetration. So you really got to make sure you got to spend a lot of time. You know, we, we spend more time on the, the backside of the, of the gap stuff, you know, and the pull stuff than we do with the pullers, to be honest with you. Um, because we, we, we use down blocks every day. We, we work on down blocks right after we work our shot blocks, you know, our drive block, whatever you want to call it. You know, we're working these, um, you know, we're working these down blocks just cause it's critical. You know, it's something that's really, uh, you know, it's important to us. It's something that we have to really stress and, you know, we have to make sure that we're cutting off, you know, any sort of potential penetration. Another good job there. You got it blocked up pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> 